Hey guys, it's Daisy, and today I wanted to talk about something that you guys may not know, but um, I've been dealing with this for a very long time. And basically what I want to talk about today is anxiety and panic disorder. So this is two things that come hand in hand, but they aren't exactly the same. But one does affect the other. So basically I have anxiety, and anxiety is... Um, Anxiety is stress that can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. Anxiety is a feeling of fear, unease, and worry. And like I said, people have different ways of dealing with anxiety, but not everyone has a panic disorder because of anxiety. So that's something that I have is I get panic attacks, and I've had this, like I said, since I was 12. That's when I had my first panic attack, and basically I think that it, I think that it started because I've never had an asthma attack. If you guys don't know, how I have asthma. I suffer with asthma since I was like five. And I've never had a panic attack. I mean, not panic attack. I've never had an asthma attack. So basically when I was in the, in the sixth grade, I was like feeling very weird. Like I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, I was shaking and I didn't know what the heck I was having. I thought I was having an asthma attack. And then when I look I look, you know, a few years later and I look back at that day, I realized that I was having a panic attack and that was my very first time and um, to this day, I still never had an asthma attack, but sometimes the reason why I have panic attacks is because I'm scared I'm going to have an asthma attack. So basically, panic disorder is um, different from the normal fear and anxiety reactions to stressful events in our lives. Panic disorder is a serious condition that strikes without reason or warning. Symptoms of panic disorder include sudden attacks of fear and nervousness as well as physical symptoms such as sweating and racing heart. During a panic attack, the fear response is out of proportion for the situation which often is not threatening. Over time, a person with panic disorder develops a constant fear of having another panic attack which can affect daily functioning and general quality of life. And that is so true. When you have a panic attack the first time, over time, you're going to worry that you're going to have another one, which basically is my problem. I've had panic attacks, and then the reason why I have them again is because I'm scared I'm going to have another one. And that's what usually that's why I have another one. So it's just, it's, it's all mental. Because there was a time in my life where I didn't have a panic attack for like a year, and then I forgot about it, and I was fine. And then I started remembering that I had them, and I was like, oh my god, I haven't had a panic attack in so long, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my god, what if I get one? And then I got one because I started panicking that I would have a panic attack. So it's basically very, like, it's like inception. But um, the symptoms that come with panic attacks are difficulty breathing, pounding heart, intense feeling of dread, sensation of choking, dizziness or feeling faint, trembling or shaking, sweating, nausea, tingling or numbness in the fingers and toes, chills or hot flashes, or a fear that you are losing control or are about to die. Basically, I get most of these. The symptoms that I usually get is um, my fingers and legs get really, really numb. I can't feel them. And um, my heart starts beating really fast. I start to hyperventilate, which is the worst thing you can do because I feel like I can't breathe and then I get scared that I'm going to have an asthma attack even though I have no idea what that feels like because I've never had an asthma attack. So I start to hyperventilate, which is basically the reason I get the symptoms like that come with it, which is I start sweating and then I start feeling like I'm going to faint and I get chills and then I, I have a feeling that I'm going to die. Like I don't know what it is. It's a fear that you're losing control of yourself and basically it's the worst feeling in the world because only you can control it. But you, at that moment, you're panicking, so it makes it even so much harder to try to control yourself. It is so difficult to explain. And people um, don't tell others that they're dealing with anxiety because people might, like, make them feel crazy. Because it is mental, like I said, and the word mental makes it feel like you're crazy and stuff. Which is why I don't play horror games. Because when I play horror games, like, it makes my, my heart race. And I don't know what it is about it, but then I feel like I'm going to have a panic attack because of, of playing horror games. So I try to control myself. Um, I've ha I haven't had it in a while, but sometimes there are times where I feel like I'm about to get it, but I try to control myself. And then I just end up, you know, 
I just end up being fine. So the way I control my anxiety is usually when I start having panic attack, I usually go to my kitchen and I get some water or juice and usually it calms me down. Um, another thing is take deep breaths because hyperventilating is the worst that you can do. It just makes you feel more panicky and it gives you the symptoms of tingling and stuff like that. Um, I usually also go to my kitchen. You know, I've also read that drinking tea helps. Um, another thing is do not drink a lot of caf caffeine because that makes it worse because, you know, it's known for making you like feel nervous and that's that's why I try not to drink a lot of it. So I try to avoid like Coke sometimes. I drink it every now and then, but it just makes it worse. Um, and also what I like to do is I like to eat snacks. For some reason, that's the thing that works the most for me is eating snacks. I don't know what it is, but it just calms me down completely. And um, that's how I've been dealing with my anxiety. So if you guys have anxiety, let me know how you guys deal with it. And if you don't, I just... You know, at least you know something new about me. I deal with um, anxiety and panic attacks, so it haven't, it haven't, it hasn't happened, but it's just something that's, that's, it sucks. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and this commentary, and I will talk to you guys later. So, bye, guys. Come and get it.